Hey friends, I'm bored. You say, why are you bored when you have so much coming up? It's because I can't do anything about any of it yet. I just went to try and film my pack with me video and I just don't feel like there's enough packed. It's not all packed. <sighs> It's not all packed. Jason's not quite done packing and I want to get him a little, a new ditty bag. That's what my dad called it. I don't know what it's called. His own little bathroom bag. I knew, I wanted to get him a new one because his is so old and gross. I think I'm going to go try and find that. Also, I need to clean my room, which I did. I just need to make my bed, which you know I didn't want to do. And then, what else did I need to do? Oh, I had to put all my makeup into the makeup holder, which I am not quite ready to do yet because I still have enough days left and it's annoying to work out of that bag. There was something else and I just don't feel like, oh, that's what it was. The girls' bags aren't done yet and I really wanna show you the girls' bags. They are getting everything into two carry-on bags. Chelsea and Ashley are in one. They're the younger two girls and Kaylee and Abby, they're the teenagers, they're into the other one. And I want them to have it fully packed so that I can show how they do it on their own because I think that's important to teach your kids, one, teach your kids how to do it themselves, give them a list, give them their responsibility and then see how they do. And two, uh, just to show how you can pack, you know, carry-on bag and get all your stuff in it but they haven't finished that yet and part of the reason why they haven't finished that yet is because of this <laughs> I need birthdays to happen and speaking of birthdays I found more gifts I told Chelsea the other day because I didn't think I had those I thought I had already given her more shorts because she's just run out she's my hot body kid I don't know why I'm whispering <laughs> No one's here. Anyway, I had told her, I was like, hey, just so you know, um, aside from a few things for, you know, the trip and for summer and that kind of thing, to get early before Hawaii, you've gotten all the shorts that you need because you needed them kind of ahead of time. Well, I forgot I ordered three of them from Old Navy online. So I just found those. So now I need a gift bag for those to get in or find a box. So then I went through her, her bag and Ashley's bag to see if they have enough clothes given what I know they're getting for their birthdays. Chelsea has some pretty old and ratty tank tops. Like this girl's getting a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> I just, I, I don't, I don't even like her wearing the old ratty tank top around town or to school. And so she needs some new ones anyway. So I'm just, she's just gonna get some extras. She's gonna get more in Hawaii. She wants lots of Hawaii t-shirts, which I promised her, but I feel like I need to know that she's got enough to wear <laughs> going into the trip. I have started laundry. You know me, I like to have something working for me while I'm out shopping or doing something that I enjoy. So I started laundry, I've already folded some. I've got two loads waiting here. A load in, a load drying. Did I even put soap in this? Let me double check, I did. Okay, this is going, right? That's turned on. Oh, it's not. Good thing I checked. Man, good thing I checked. All right, let's go shopping. All right, so part of the problem that I have now is that I have taken Chelsea to a few stores to get an idea of what she likes and what I can get her for her birthday. And she just doesn't like a whole lot of design on the shirts or the shorts. My phone connects to my car automatically, which is great, but it turns on Taylor Swift every time. And love you, Taylor, but I'm so sick of hearing Taylor Swift the second I get into my car. So annoying. So I'm gonna have to eventually to stores that I don't normally go to and I quite frankly don't really even like. She's a sporty girl and I know that Fred Meyer has like a lot of sporty type stuff and she's started to recognize unfairly I think that the boys section has things that are more attuned to what she likes. They're more sporty, they're more durable, they make more sense. Girl stuff just doesn't make sense it, for little active girls and it makes me so mad that I have to buy her boy stuff, but I'm gonna have to go and check that out. I might, I'm trying to remember if she saw stuff at Target she liked. I took her to Target the other day and got her those shorts. Um, and you, one would say maybe she has too many shorts. Mm -mm. Nope, she does not have too many shorts. She wears them all year round. Like she will wear all of her shorts all summer long, all fall, all winter. There's no worry of not getting use out of these shorts for spring and summer. She will use them all year round, but need to get her some. she's big into wearing tank tops with her sports bras so that's what I'm gonna go look for also these clouds are the epitome of what the weather is today can you see that little Sun peeking through there and then the stormy dark clouds yeah that's what it is today it's like super gorgeous and super cloudy don't know what's gonna happen but am I wearing shorts and flip-flops yes I am 
Okay, I went into Fred Meyer, not my favorite store, but I did find one thing. I got pretzels, some chips. Is it me in my area or is syrup really hard to find? Costco has been out of syrup for the past couple months. Oh my goodness sake. And we go through it, well we used to go through it faster. Now we don't because we're like, are we gonna get syrup again? Let's really dig into the pancake, we're gonna have it, but hold off if we don't know if we're gonna have syrup again. But I did find this shirt for Chelsea. She's very sporty, so and she's very particular about her neck. It can't come up too high and it can't come down too low. And she likes to have sleeveless, but she also really likes this kind of style. Like I was really lucky that I found it. See how there's like a separate little layer to it right there? She really likes that. I think it's, yeah, there's like a separate layer that shows and, uh, and then it's longer in the back. So I think that's gonna be really cute. She doesn't like decals on it. So I'm happy with that. It was 12 bucks on sale, so that was a good deal. But I literally couldn't even find any other color in that size. I had to get a women's size small. I wish that they had had an extra small, but I think this one actually will fit her. That was, a, that was literally all I could find. Men's, women's, boys, kids, everything. That's all I could find for her, which is kind of upsetting. I actually might hop on Amazon because I will get it in time for her birthday celebration if I hurry and order it today. That's the beauty of Amazon living in Seattle. Literally warehouses around the corner so we can get stuff overnight. Like literally I could probably get it overnight. So I, it's a nice day. I wish I had brought shoes to go for a walk. That's what I need to start doing. I need to like when I'm out and about and stuff and I don't have groceries that need to be kept cold. I need to just keep some tennis shoes in the car and go for a walk because we live on a hill and it's just too much for me to go up and down hills right away, but I like walking. So, and I have my water. This is my second or third water of the day. Just chatty. My sister, oh, I was gonna tell you guys, my sister um, is trying on wedding dresses today and the video of her going, getting engaged went up today. So I thought that was very fitting, literally. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? That she's trying on dresses. She has to plan a wedding really, really fast. And so she's already wedding dress shopping and I'm very excited for her. And I'm passing on your messages to her and hopefully she'll have time to come and look at the comments. But if, I, if not, I'm gonna send them to her because um, I, I love that you guys are supporting her too. I just, someone nearly got in an accident. That's what I was looking at. All right, next up. Oh, and I didn't find a little ditty bag for Jason, so I might actually run up to Marshall's. They didn't have one though. They do one for women, Amazon. I'm just not gonna bother. Jason gets upset with me when I order everything on Amazon, but right now gas is too expensive to keep going and traipsing around from store to store to not find it. So guess what, my friend? Amazon. Also, it's sunny enough to snap on my hair wear. Hair I wear. I'll leave the code below. You guys, they're really cool. When I'm just driving around, along, I have my little case down here. I did find one from the dollar store that I'm gonna use instead, but I did have it right here, and so I just snap them on. And then if I, I go, like literally, I can drive five more minutes down the road, and it's gonna be cloudy and overcast and probably raining in five minutes, and I can just pull them off and keep on driving. I don't have to like change glass while I'm driving and risk getting in an accident, like carrying a camera and filming as I'm driving. All right, all right, I'll get off. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> I just got home and Chelsea just stepped on my flip flop and I did the most awkward like <laughs> dance. Skip. Okay, fine. Okay, get it from my angle. No, just just do it. You're like <laughs> she was she hung on to the sandals, so it stayed. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited because I did just get a package. I did not expect this. It says it's not even coming until next week. Can I open it? Yeah, you can. It's all for me, but I was at Fred Meyer today and I was like, I wonder if I should just, I should just, oh, maybe you can't see some of it. Hang on. I don't remember. I think this is all me. One, two, three. Yep, this is all me. Let me show you. They're all, here, I'll just show you. 
All right, so I got bras. This one is a sports bra. They're for my swimsuits. I need extra support. <laughs> Just, she's making herself a lunch. Um, but I wanted backs on them that are not like the racer back so that I can wear them underneath my swimsuit. But then also like when we're going back and forth between swimming and not swimming, I can just wear this bra with like a tank top and then I could throw my swimsuit on over it like if I'm in the car or whatever. And then I also got, for the same reason, I got this little, it's actually a bikini top, which I would never wear alone, but I can take out the padding on it and just have it as extra support underneath my swimsuit and then the straps won't show as much underneath my swimsuit. And then I just got this one because it was a fun bright color. But they were, these two were literally like $6 a piece, I think. Here's my receipt. I don't remember how much they were. I don't remember how much they were. It doesn't say on that receipt, but I have been looking for these and I did not expect to get them today. So I think I need to try them on and make sure they're going to fit and then pack them. They're going to take up a lot more space. <laughs> larger women have larger clothes and they take up more space. So let's put all this stuff. I don't know if they're going to fit, so I'm going to hang on to the packaging in case I need to return them. This is what I got at Fred Meyer, just because a little incentive for Ashley, little uh, blueberry muffins, some chocolate dip granola bars. Abby loves these pretzels. And then I just have a little bit more cheese dip left over, but we don't have enough chips. But I don't want to buy a big bag of chips at Costco because we won't go through them in time before we leave and then they'll go bad. So incentives and just enough for our, the rest of the week. All right, they do work. I tried them all on. The white one, surprisingly, was not as supportive as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the one that was more actual sports bra-ish and give me full coverage and support. It gives me full coverage. It's just not very much support, but it'll serve the purpose that I need it for. But this black one and the orange one are going to be great underneath my swimsuit. I'm going to take out the pads on them because I think that's ridiculous and they always go wonky. But they are going to work really well underneath my swimsuits. So I'm very happy with that. And I, got, I purposely got swimsuit material so that it'll dry like my swimsuit will versus like bras when I put them underneath, they don't dry as much. And then my swimsuit does and then a tank top over it and then I get boob marks from the wet bra. So <laughs> I need everything to dry at the same level. <coughs> okay, I got Jason home early today to go to Chelsea's choir concert, yes. no, right? Yeah. Choir. And he came home, oh, you already changed them. He came home so early he had his work shoes on instead of his car shoes on. Did you take your cardigan off first? Shush. <laughs> I don't want you to be my neighbor. <laughs> Thanks for coming home quick. Um, he's going to grab a bite to eat. Oh, who texted me? So earlier today, Jason texted me and he's like, hey, if you're, if you're a little bored, which I don't know how he knew I was bored today. He's like, hey, maybe after um, we do this concert tonight with Chelsea, uh, we go and find some takeout and go to um, the top of a parking garage or sit by the lake or somewhere and eat just to be away. I don't know, it was just kind of fun, kind of different. Um, so I thought that would be very nice. Uh, also it doesn't, mean it also means I didn't have to cook tonight which is also a plus Chelsea already makes her meals when she gets home from school Kaylee ate and then she works until 10 o'clock tonight so she took my car and that's why Jason had to come home early tonight to get home in time for yeah. me to have his car all of us you're coming with us to the concert go get your hair brush and your teeth brush um and it's kind of exciting because we get to go to Chelsea's new middle school, which I think is why Ashley wants to come because we get to go inside. I've only gone in the front office before. <laughs> and so it's going to be fun. It's also sunny, but kind of chilly outside. So I'm going to put my sweatshirt on really quick. And all right, put on my little Maui, nice and warm, but Jason, are you going to grab a little bite to eat to get you through yep. a yogurt? Okay. I'm going to keep editing until we have to go. He's, he thinks I'm talking to you. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay, we'll see you inside. You go and get your spot in your choir room? Yeah. Okay. Well, up in the All right. Table. We'll be right in.
good concert shelves. Yeah. You have Very fun? Good. Yeah. The Phantom of the Opera one is fun, huh? Have you ever seen the movie? A little bit of it. Have you? It was like just the songs. Right. I think you need to see the movie. I, haven't I think seen I need the movie to rewatch it to make sure it's appropriate for a I have no idea. Twelve year old, an almost twelve year old. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Almost. Can I have water if you have I don't have any. I don't have any. We'll get you home, girl. We'll get you home. Alright, we drop the kids off at home. <laughs> Come down to Panda Express. Get a little takeout and go sit in a parking lot somewhere. I don't think we're gonna get a sunset. It does look good over there, but I don't think we're gonna get actual glow. We don't really get that here. What is it, what? A little Tesla charging area over there. <laughs> we were saying yesterday that uh, Seattle has Teslas like Utah has minivans. <laughs> Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's Forget about it. Wow, I haven't eaten an entire panda. <laughs> A plate. A plate. I don't. I don't even know the last time I ate a whole one. Yeah. I'm trying to think what I had I for do. food today. I've only had a salad. I had. <sighs> I. I did my intermittent fasting, and then I had one of those little ham and egg biscuit. Oh yeah, I made. I one made. This morning. Then I went and bought a Starbucks one too. I forgot about that. <laughs> I got a cold beverage and some fries like mid afternoon while I was out running those errands, and I guess that's all I've had. So I guess I was hungry, yeah. and I had two spring rolls. I have. I'm full, but I'm anyway. Can't even see you. But we're gonna call it good and go home to our kids and... I gotta get over this little congestion stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you want me to cut your hair tonight or worry about it Oh, I need day? it cut, man. I, it's it's getting shaggy and I don't like it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I want it fresh for the trip. So. Yeah, I want it shorter because I don't like the way it looks right now. It's too puffy. Yeah. I, I, the funny thing is when I have my hair this way, everyone oh. always asks me if I look like Doug. Oh, the other owner? They're always like, did you work up at the Everett store? Oh, or? the people who come in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Just because I've got long, the scruff. He, yeah. He went through a period where he left his hair a little bit more like this, and he had like a, a more of a beard. Yeah. And they haven't seen him in two years, so yeah, yeah. So. Oh, one other quick thing. Good news. You know how we always have, we don't really go into a ton of details, but every time we go on a trip, and lately, every time we come home, something with our business falls apart, and it's usually involved with our employees and staffing. And. We've got some good news. Good safe, news. Yeah. Safe to say, I don't think this could go bad before we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just ruined it. I'm sorry. It. <laughs> no. Anyways, we have a really good person that's been worked for us many years ago coming yeah. back. She's great. We actually have a really good team. I mean, good people. Yeah, it'll be really, uh, really good. I think it's the best group of people ever. I, you know, I think it'll be good. And it's got to keep the shit going until we get back from Hawaii. <laughs> After that, I'll fix it. I don't it. care. Well, the <laughs> thing is, I tell him all the time, have some more rice. <laughs> <laughs> rice all over my chest. I tell them all the time things will work out and they always have. It's really stressful to leave your business and leave and like cross an ocean and be that far away from a business. That It is a lot. Well, I it's understand. also easier to tell someone else it's going to be all right when I they're know. the one that has to figure out how to make it all right. But I also have to deal with you not having it be all right. So I do have to deal with some of the stress <laughs> and making sure we can actually get there. <laughs> you already made sure of that. I know we have. I'm trying to make sure everything's fine when we come back. I know, but everything was somewhat working out, kind of. And then out of the blue, this girl, she probably watches these, so I'm, I'll just be mindful of her, her privacy. Uh, called him out of the blue. She, well, I, I think she came across the job posting. Was like, oh, oh, maybe oh. she did. She said she, she kind of saw the job posting and was thinking, you know, anyways. Oh, we're low on gas. Um, anyway, so she called him out of the blue and she's like, hey, I would love to come and work for you well, again. Well, she said, yeah, she mentioned it. And so we had dinner and, you know, caught up old times. I mean, we mm -hmm. worked together for seven years, but basically friends. And then, you know, just wanted to see if it worked for both of us and yeah. fortunately it looks like it will and you know it'll be good so she starts next week yeah and uh you know if we ever had a position or a person that needed to be a, like could be a manager she would be the person if, if the store keeps growing and i could step away more and she could take over like she could she could do it she's got got skills or whatever and yeah we'll see we'll just you know but it's, it's good it's just it... <laughs> There have been only a few times where we always like trust our employees enough to leave them while we go on vacations and stuff. But there's always, yeah, I don't know, like, do we fully trust them? But there are a few people that we have hired. There's been a couple times where we've trusted them, and it's been fine. I haven't worried about it. But yeah, nothing has ever happened. But I fully trust her to the store, and it's going to be <coughs> such a good blessing going forward as well. Especially because she's already been there. She can literally, it's like turnkey. She can just walk in, kind of get comfortable yeah, with things again, and refreshed on some stuff. She hasn't done for a few uh -huh. years, so something's happening. Someone's right. calling us, so we we're gonna say it. goodnight. This is Jason's dad. We'll see you guys um, next time. <laughs>